happy Saturday. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Enough of that. I have never in my life eaten at Penn Station. Um, I do it to go. What's your name? Sean. Could I do a regular cheesesteak? Yeah, I'll do all three. And then I'll do the uh, spicy brown mustard. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, man. Have a good one. If you guys follow the channel, if you followed me online, you know when I go to a place for the very first time, I like to get the most popular thing, the thing that other people who go there a lot swear by, and the thing that the restaurant exceeds the most at, highest batting average, that's what I'm at. When I travel, I really love trying fast food and chain restaurants that I can't get in Chicago. And there is not a Penn Station East Coast Subs anywhere near my apartment, so I'm back in Bowling Green, Ohio at my fiance's hometown. At it, I'm in it. <laughs> and every single time I come here, I see the sign. I saw the song. And I'm like, eventually I'm gonna get that. And today, because of the Rory Boyle fan club, these people, I'm gonna go ahead and snag it. I already snagged, it's right here. Get it together, Ely. It is pushing 85 degrees, so we're gonna keep this AC bumping and keep your boy calm and cool. Cool, calm, and collected, like the other side of a pillow. This was 10.13 for the regular. And you don't wait for them to go down the line and ask what you want, like at Subway. They ask you right at the register. So I did the regular size with sauteed onions, mushrooms, multigrain over white. I actually like multigrain bread over white bread like every time. Is that weird? And then also, I got their brown mustard. Spicy brown muttered. Muttered. Mustard. The other big thing there is like pizza sauce on these. Uh, which I'm gonna get probably the next time I wanna try that. I wanna try this. This is their most popular combination. So much so that Mashed did an article, the best sandwich at Penn Station according to 31% of people. A damn near third of the people that walk in the door get the cheesesteak sandwich. Second is the Italian with 16%. And then the Reuben in third place, 12 and a half. Is it worth the money? Is it worth stopping? I almost went to Mr. Spots here in Bowling Green. I really do want to eventually do that. They also have like cheese steaks. It's a local though. I mean, this looks fantastic. This looks, wow. How I used to think Quiznos was, like I thought Quiznos was such a step up from Subway. But nothing's on like Jersey Mike's level as far as chains go anymore. So let's see where Penn Station kind of ranks. It looks great. Here's what we're working with right now. It's toasted to perfection. The bread is nice and crispy. I can feel it. It's piping hot. And then it's loaded with onions, mushrooms, and plenty of meat. The cheesesteak sandwich looking real nice for a chain. For the first time ever, Penn Station. Let's go. Oh yeah. I'm thinking the same thing from when I had Jersey Mike's Philly cheesesteak. Cheers. Are you kidding? There's no world that if you put this in front of me and change the branding, like just put it in regular white parchment paper, there's no world I wouldn't think this is a local mom and pop, been there for 80 years, play. like there's no world. How is meat that tender from a place that gets it shipped in? It does not taste like a chain, it tastes local. The mustard is so good. Perfect balance of meat, mushrooms, and onions. It's so craveable. I like want another bite instantly. Mmm. Wow. See, this is the thing. This is why Subway is not gonna last. 10 bucks now for like a big sandwich at Subway, and it's nowhere near that. You have to get that Charles Russell meatball hack with the pepperoni that I did. Subway, foot long meatball melt, deluxe the meat, provolone, pepperoni, ranch. I know it's not appropriate, but it's accurate. This sandwich fucks. For Subway to even remotely matter, you, my friend, absolutely trounce Subway. That's addicting. Is it a cheesesteak? No. You gotta manage your expectations. It's like, it's not a Philly cheesesteak, but it really flies in its own lane. Mm! 
Subway ain't grilling onions like that. For those of you guys who have Jersey Mike's and Penn Station in your town and you're familiar with both, are they on the same level? Everyone loves Jersey Mike's, but this is damn good. Like, where do you fall? I've wanted to try this for so many years. Oh my God, I was so hungry. Allie and I are running around doing errands for this bridal shower tomorrow. And I had like 20 minutes to go grab food in between. Mm, smells so good. Is this one of the best toasted sandwiches I've ever had? No, but for a chain, the reliability of this, I see why people love it. I wish it had Whiz instead of Provolone. One of the main absolute joys of this sandwich though, the banana peppers, smashing this thing. I drove four and a half hours today. This is the first real food I'm eating. I could cry. <laughs> Also, if you're a Penn Station person, what's the next sandwich I should get? It's gone. Wow. That hit the damn spot. And greasy, but not too greasy. Close you, you go back here. Water guy in my building gave you one on the way out. He's like, Sean, take one for the road. I'm like, why do you do single-use plastic as a career. And he's like, well, I actually, unlike you, I get paid. And I was like, oh, what? I was like, that's incredibly rude, but honest. Bowling Green is a college town, and we're obviously in summer, so it's like desolate. Look at this Penn Station. Not a soul in it. <laughs> also, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Megan Jeffries, David Demanchik, and Darcy Deming for just random donations on PayPal for the show. Thank you so much. If you guys want to continue to see me make vlogs as I travel into the year leading up to the wedding next month at the end of August, the Venmo, the cash out, the PayPal, all the money helps so, so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, it's fun posting videos on the weekend. I'll tell you what, I don't normally do that and I'm here and I'm like, you know what, you guys, you know what, Rory Boilers, you get this one. And in turn, so does everybody else. Once again, thank you to these people for being around and being in my corner. I oh so appreciate you. I got to go meet Allie at Kroger to buy alcohol for the people coming to our wedding shower. So is it something I'm oddly good at? Yeah. I appreciate you guys oh, oh so much. My first time having Penn Station up. My first time having Penn Station down. No matter what, be good to each other.